Hey there. Ever wondered how to harness the power of large language models to build your very own text generation API? Well, imagine no more because today we're making that happen. This is Billy from Generative Labs, and today we're venturing into the world of serverless computing to set up our text generation API on RunPod. If you're passionate about AI or eager to leverage state-of-the-art text generation models, then you've tuned in to the right channel. There are two parts of today's tutorial. First, just a little bit about the XLama project. It's the core technology behind the serverless API we'll develop. Second, we'll walk through the process of setting up a text generation API step by step, then test everything out in Postman. As always, check the helper file in the description for links to everything here. All right, a little background on XLama. It's a fantastic memory efficient project redesigned for use with quantized weights on modern GPU hardware. It's based on hugging face transformers implementation of Llama and it's fast. Using it allows us to incorporate any Llama GPTQ model into a serverless API. Now, if all that seems a bit overwhelming, don't worry. As always, this video is designed to guide you through the process, step by step. To ease into our journey, I forked a GitHub repository originally created by Hamayoshi and pushed it to Docker Hub. This way, you can use the image with RunPod serverless without any extra steps. Now, if you're excited and ready, let's jump in. First things first, you'll need a RunPod account. If you don't have one yet, check the helper file for the link. Navigate to serverless in the menu, then click on My Templates and create a new one. Assign it a name and use my pre-built Docker image, or if you're feeling adventurous, build and push your own. The helper file will guide you through this process. Next, scroll down to environment variables, create a key called model repo. and enter the name of your language model as the value. I suggest using the link in the helper file to find an appropriate Llama GPTQ model from Hugging Face. Next up, we'll set up storage for our model. Navigate to My Storage under GPU Cloud, create a new network volume, and allocate ample storage. I've used 50 gigabytes in this case. Now it's time to create the serverless endpoint. Navigate to serverless, then my endpoints and create a new endpoint. Give your endpoint a name. Select the template we created. And in advanced options, select the network volume we created earlier. Select the GPU type. I like to increase the idle time to about 10 seconds and also enable flash boot to help reduce the cold start time. Outstanding. You have successfully created your text generation API endpoint. Take a moment to pat yourself on the back. In a moment, we'll head over to Postman to test it out and experience the satisfaction of seeing your creation in action. Let's keep going. Copy your endpoint ID, you'll need this in Postman. Over to Postman, import the configuration file from the helper file, paste the endpoint ID and your API key in the variables. You can find your API key in RunPod settings. Finally, let's test our setup. Click on the Run Async request and use the default request settings. I used a fun prompt asking our virtual assistant to tell a cat joke. Set 
since this is the first request, the system will download the model we specified in the template, which might take some time. You can keep track of the progress by watching the endpoint's log file back in Postman. While this model is downloading, let me highlight that if you need help with your text generation, API, or any generative AI project, reach out. While we try to offer free support in the comments, we do provide dedicated paid support, education, training, implementation, and architecture services to assist you. Almost there. But once it's ready, it'll generate a response. Here's the joke it generated. What did one cat say to another? Meow. Well, our assistant might need to work on its sense of humor. Let's try another one. Huh, looks like our model shouldn't quit its day job. Let's try a new prompt. Let's ask our assistant to create a simple Python function that adds two numbers together. That looks pretty good. Congratulations. Your skills and determination have paid off. As we wrap up this tutorial, I want to give a special shout out to our incredible patron, Dan Kortenbach from WP Pro. Thanks to Dan's Patreon subscription, we were able to create this video and fulfill his priority tutorial request. Thanks, Dan. Join our Patreon community and be a part of shaping our content just like Dan did. Your support makes a huge difference in what we can accomplish. Check out the link to our Patreon page in the video description. I hope you found this tutorial enlightening and enjoyed creating your very own text generation API. Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel for more exciting content, and leave a comment if you have any questions or just to let us know how your text generation API is working out. Until the next. Okay.